Hello my YouTube family. I hope uh, you guys are doing fine. In this video, uh, I will be showing you how to install application catalog in SCCM uh, current print. Uh, basically what I'll do is uh, I'm going to go back and uh, as I mentioned in the previous video that uh, uh, the patches are being synced. So I will just go and check and verify that all the patches uh, were synced in the one that I started in the last video. So I'll just verify those. Uh, then I'm just gonna configure uh, application catalog. Uh, and once uh, it's done, uh, I will verify in the SCCM console. Then also we'll verify through some of the logs. And then I will, uh, towards the end, uh, I will log into one of the machine and see if the cat catalog is being published. You're not gonna see any kind of application in it. It's just gonna be a blank catalog because I have not gotten to the point where uh, the applications are being published uh, to the user. So let's get started. I'm going to log into SCCM server. It's going to RDP into it. Uh, that's SCCM. And as I had mentioned in the very first video, the background, I'm going to set it up as a green. I'm going to launch SCCM console. Actually, I'm just going to right click and I'm just going to pin to the start. So that in the future, I just don't have to look for it. So just like uh, I mentioned to, uh, to be a good SCCM admin, a, a good practice is always make sure the minute you log in into your system at the beginning of your shift, always try to look at the status of the system that everything is clean or if there are any issues then address it right at the beginning of your shift so click on monitoring uh, and uh, go to system status site status everything is clean component status everything is looking clean so that's good so now uh, i'm just going to quickly go into uh a software library and I'll show you the patches that I had synced. Uh, actually, I had pressed the button sync and then I had uh, to close that uh, previous video. So just uh, go to software library, software updates, all software updates. And you should see all of these uh, patches uh, that are available. So just do make sure uh, and I also want you to know that they, these are the patches that are available to uh, to us in our SCCM, but they are not really downloaded. So in order for me to download and deploy, then there is an extra process that I have to basically create the uh, software group and then download them, which I would have a very separate video around it. There is actually one video uh, uh, that you could see the link here that whenever I created the lab for SCCM 2016, that does show how to deploy the patches. So in the meanwhile, if you want to take a look at that one, you can go ahead and uh, check that one out. So this is looking all good. And I can also go to uh, uh, logs real quick too, which was WSYNC um, MGR. And this one uh, should show basically all of the history for the synchronization that did took place whenever I was I was working on it. So just take a look at it on your side uh, and that should help you uh, get to understand about the WSYNC log uh, manager a little bit more in detail. Click on admin, administration, select uh, SCCM01. That's the primary site, the one that I have uh, in my environment. Right click it and add uh, site system roles. Leave everything as default. If you are following uh, along with me, you should have no problems uh, if you leave everything default. Click next. Everything default uh, on this screen too. Click next. Uh, uh, it's going to ask you which role that you uh, want to install. So I am interested in these two. Uh, application catalog web service uh, point and then application catalog website point. So these two rows are the one that I'm interested in. Click next. And uh, application catalog is basically given, uh, I have uh, mentioned this one uh, in the previous video too, but uh, I'm just gonna quickly go and uh, go with it again. 
this is where you are giving the ability to the end user where they can download the application or any kind of a software that you are deploying. You could make it available for them and where they can download it. There is way too many things, kind of a really awesome things that you could do with application catalog, which down the road, I would create some more details uh, video around that one too. So on a high level, that's all you need to know now that to be able to manage and make the application available uh, so that they are available to the, the end user on demand whenever they want to. They don't have to request uh, or do anything. They can just simply go and install it. Click next. So oh, leave everything default. Uh, basically, IIS uh, uh, website, leave it as the default uh, for this lab purpose. You could you could change it, but that's a complete different configuration. And there would be some more things in detail. But for, for this lab purpose, leave, leave everything default on this tab. Click Next. So IIS website, uh, basically site system server that's populated. If you have multiple, obviously, you would see more here. Uh, the IIS website default, leave it as the default. Website application name, this is what the end users will see. So I'm just go CM application catalog. I'm gonna change it to BB, uh, BB Tech. Uh, so that uh, the web address, you will see in a second how it's gonna the, the look uh, towards the end when the user needs to go and uh, browse, uh, browse to the catalog. Click next. Organization name, uh, I'm gonna call it uh, BB Tech. Color, this is the color that is gonna show on a catalog. So I'm just gonna leave it uh, as a default blue. You could actually do many other kind of uh, colors if uh, you are trying to match the color with your organization logo or, or any of organization colors, that's that should work. So I'm just gonna leave it as blue, it's kind of pretty. Click next. That's a quick summary as uh, SCCM always gave before it actually started the execution of whatever the process that you are trying to start. So click next. Right there, uh, everything is green. If there were any warnings, then I would uh, obviously take a look at it. If there was uh, any kind of errors, I will look at it. But in my case, uh, everything is green, click close. Now the logs that we are going to check first is going to be, I'm just going to go to the logs folder, which is in SCCM uh, default log folder, which is, uh, you could actually go to C, wherever your SCCM is installed. In my case is C program files, uh, Microsoft configuration manager, and then logs. Just select the logs folder. And usually what I do is whichever logs that I'm looking for, I just go into the logs folder and just try to paste that log, whatever the full log name is. In this case, it's SMS uh, a, a web service. So I'm just gonna double click and open it. And as you could see, installation was successful. This is good. There's another log uh, that is around it, uh, which is, um, let me paste it here. Um, this one is, a web service dot MSI. This is basically the MSI log for that. It's, it has more details. You're going to see what exactly the, the the MSI did whenever the actual installation happened. And as I mentioned uh, several times, sometimes you are going to see these kind of errors, but just read it. Uh, the color or basically don't get be don't get afraid because of the colors. This could be nothing. In this case, it was actually not an error. It was zero. So this is good. Um, one more, actually two more logs. One would be, let me paste it here for you guys, which is SMS uh, portal web setup dot log. Uh, just go in there, take a look at it and see if this was successfully installed. That's good. And the last one is basically portal installed, which is the MSI. That is gonna have more details in it obviously, just like the previous uh, one that I showed you. So you could see all what the MSI did. So this is good. Now, uh, what I'll do is, uh, I'm just gonna go uh, to the site, uh, uh, I'm sorry, monitoring, and I'm just gonna see if, if that status, uh, 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 that uh, status for uh, the new component that I added is there.
So the component that uh, I am interested in is SMS. I'm gonna uh, sort them out uh, uh, alphabetically. Is SMS portal SMS portal web control manager? That's right there, and it's it's online uh, green, so no issues on this one. The other thing that uh, you could uh, test is just by logging into one of the machine that is already part of this SCCM. In this case, if you go to uh, asset and compliance, and then go to devices, uh, all system. I believe it's test one. Yeah, test one. So I'm just gonna log into this machine and uh, uh, launch the Internet Explorer. And then uh, from there, I will just browse to that website, uh, which is so. This would be basically uh, HTTPS. I mean, uh, sorry, not HTTPS. It's HTTP because the way I had configured it, I did not configure it as with the SSL uh, enabled. So HTTP server name, which is SCCM01 uh, slash, and if you recall, I had set it up as BB Tech. So that's what I'm going to go. So the reason why you are seeing this message right here is because uh, SCCM catalog does run on uh, Silverlight. And since uh, Microsoft Silverlight is not uh, installed on this SCCM server, that's why you are seeing this message. So if I go on to uh, test one, that does have SCCM, I mean, Microsoft Silverlight installed on it. And you would see the catalog does pop up. So I'm just going to RDP that machine and I'll just show you quickly if, if, what, what I'm talking about. So here I am uh, on test one. Just going to uh, IE for Internet Explorer. And uh, I also want to show you real quick, which I have already installed, by the way. Uh, Silver light, which is right here, is already installed on it. So now, if I just go and visit that uh, URL, HTTP SCCM zero uh, one uh, BB deck, and that SCCM is basically the server uh, where uh, the web portal is installed on. You could actually, uh, which uh, would be a separate video, you could customize this URL too. Which one day I'll create a video and just put it out there for you guys, just in case if it is some some organization doesn't require and they need that, hey, we want this one to be a little more professional, not the SCCM server name in the URL. So oh, I will create a separate video on that. But this is a SCCM catalog right here in front of you. You could see that that's a color that I had picked. If you would have picked a different color, that that's the one, uh, the color would have been uh, changed for you. Uh, this is where uh, application requests that whenever user is going to request the applications. Sometimes you could uh, do as an admin where you could uh, make the application available, but they do require the e-admin approvals. So whole different topic, but just uh, you guys need to know. I would get to that one day. Uh, and then uh, obviously how many devices are for this very user, they would start showing here and application catalog how many applications that you are able to see here. You could actually search applications if you want to. And then uh, this is where you are going to see the name of the uh, the company that was set up in the SCCM uh, while I am trying, uh, while I was configuring uh, the portal. That's about it. I think this was very simple and straightforward. Hopefully you guys liked it. Uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. And I hope that you are enjoying these videos and learning uh, at least some from me. If you have any kind of ideas uh, or suggestions or even healthy criticism, I'm all for it. Thank you so much wherever you are. Have a good one.